Hi, I'm Luis Infante with ETS Solution. In this video, we will talk about the accelerometer location for vibration shaker control. Placing the accelerometer in the right position is critical to perform an accurate testing. How to attach the accelerometer to the fixture is equally important. Stud mounted accelerometers are recommended over wax mounted or glued accelerometers. Stud mounted accelerometers have a higher transmissibility and it is very constant throughout the typical frequency spectrum of a vibration shaker. Controlling with wax mounted or glued accelerometers can be unsafe as you can lose the control signal if the accelerometer gets unglued and some controllers may apply the maximum allowed drive voltage to the shaker which may overdrive the shaker and cause severe damages. Using a good low noise accelerometer cable is very important too. Make sure that you apply a nice strain relief cable loop which will increase its life and will help you to have a reliable control signal. Bad cables are a typical problem when trying to control a shaker. The accelerometer should be oriented correctly to read in the direction of vibration. It is recommended to perform a fixture resonance search within the frequency spectrum of the test specification. A 1 or 2G flat sine sweep at 2 octave per minute is a good starting point. The goal is to place the control accelerometer in a point that achieves the best vibration transmissibility to avoid under testing or over testing the unit under test. If the fixture has resonances, average control may be required to balance the response at the points of the highest deflection. Two or more accelerometers may be required. The control signal will be the average acceleration of the selected accelerometers. Make sure that the control accelerometer is never placed in a node. Remember that a node is a point of minimum amplitude and therefore the shaker can be overdriven unnecessarily to achieve the desired vibration level. You will know if the accelerometer is placed on a node by watching the drive signal at your vibration controller. A sharp voltage increment usually means that the accelerometer is located on a node. Move the accelerometer to another place and try again. A good FEA analysis may be used to spot the node points on a fixture. When testing on a slip plate, the best control point is at the end of the slip plate. Never place the control accelerometer close to the shaker head. This point will become a node at certain frequency and the shaker will be overdriven. I hope that this is useful information for you. If you need further training or assistance, please contact Graham Carmichael at ETS Solution North America or Luis Infante at ETS Solution Mexico. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.